So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create your very first project. Remember that's Hello Purr. Essentially when we click on our kitty or pet our kitty, it says meow. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to navigate to the App Inventor 2 homepage. Then I want you to click on that Hello Purr project that we created in our previous video. So I'm just going to click on it now and it should open our designer view. Great. Now we're going to want to drag in a button to our components viewer and a label. So let's do that now. I'm going to go over to my palette. I'm going to left click and hold on my button and then release. And then I'm going to do the same thing for my label, making sure that I drag it underneath my button. So left click and hold, see that blue line and release. So now in our components section, you can see we have a button and a label. Great. So just because I want to be a bit picky here, I want my button and my label to be in the center of my view. So it looks a little nicer. So the way I do that is I click on my screen component and I'm going to modify the properties. So to make this go to the center, to make everything in our screen go to the center, we go to align horizontal and we click center and everything centers. Great. So now I want to replace the background, this gray background on our button to our kitty. So I actually have to upload a kitty image, right? So I'm going to go to my media section, click upload file. Remember that's where we upload any form of media. Then I'm going to click choose file. And then I'm going to click my kitty that I want to upload. Then I'm going to click open, excuse me, and then okay. And if everything went correctly, you'll see our kitty right here. Great. So now I'm going to go to our button, click on our button in our component section. And then I'm going to click image and now our kitty shows up. So I'm going to click on that, click okay. And hopefully, fingers crossed, now we see our kitty. Great. So now you'll notice the text is still over our kitty's face. So the way we remove that is we just go on over to our properties bar and we click on the text section in our property section and just remove it. Pressing enter, there you have it. Our text is now removed. So now I want this label to say pet the kitty. So I'm going to click on our label. You'll notice our properties change, right? Because now we have a label, not a button. So it's all label specific properties. And now I'm going to change this text property to pet the kitty. Pet the kitty. Great. Now I want to make it a little bit bigger, right? So I'm going to go up to this font size and make it 30. That seems pretty good to me. Great. So now we have the basic layout all set up for our application. The only thing we don't have is when we click on the kitty, nothing will happen. So we need to add one more component to make that happen. We're going to add a sound component. So I'm going to go over to our palette, click on media, this media category, which will open up all the components relating to media. Then I'm going to drag and drop the sound component into our viewer. Now you'll notice this particular component doesn't show up in our viewer. It shows up right below it. So if there's ever a particular kind of component that doesn't have a visual representation, it'll just show up right at the bottom. So the sound component is one of those, right? It says non-visible components. Great. So now how do we make our kitty meow? Well, the first thing we have to do is we have to set the source in our sound component to that audio file. So you'll notice the sound component only has two properties, minimum interval, which we're not going to worry about, and source. So if I click on source, you'll notice I have no audio file to click on. Well, that's because we haven't uploaded it yet. So let's do that now. I'm going to click on upload file, choose file once again. And then this time I'm just going to click meow.mp3. That's our audio file of our kitty meowing. I'm going to click OK. And now if we click on source in our sound component, you'll notice I have a meow.mp3. So I'll click OK. And everything's all set up so that we can start messing with our blocks or programming our blocks to make our kitty meow. So now I'm going to move on over to our block section so that we can actually program a meow for when we click on our kitty. So I'm going to click on blocks in the top right. Actually, before we do that, I want to cement some good habits in here. Before we can move on over to our block section, we want to make sure all of our components are named what they are, right? Or a good name to represent what they are, I should say. So you'll notice our kitty button it just says button one in our component section. We should probably rename this so that we ha we can have a better name for that. So kitty button sounds good to me. So now I know exactly what it is when I go to my block section. I go, oh, kitty button, that's the button with my cat on it, right? So my label, I'll just leave because we have no other labels. But uh, everything else looks good. So we're going to go into our block section. 
And now we're going to program in when we click on our kitty button, we get a meow. So we're going to go to our component specific block section right here and we're going to click on our kitty button and that will open up a drawer. And now we want to respond to a click, right? So I'm going to left click and hold this block, right? Because it says when kitty button click, do this. That looks like the right block. I'm going to left click and hold and then drag and drop. So now we have our kitty button in our viewer or our kitty button click block, I should say, in our viewer. And now what do I want to do when we click on that button? Well, I want to play a sound, right? So I'm going to go over to our sound component and hopefully we have a, a block that will allow us to play that sound. And there it is right here, right? Call sound play. So I'm going to release and I'm just going to drag it into our click. So pretty simple stuff. Now we're all done. If we run it, we should have our kitty meowing and we're going to do that in our following video.